Hey guys, Luke here. Um, I'm coming to you guys. It's the morning after we just got into camp. And um, this is Elk Meadows. This is the meadow right here. So as you can see, we have a nice little stream right here. I think you guys may have seen that prior to the video. I mean, earlier in the video. But we're going to be using that for our water. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's Mount Hood right up there. And... We're going to be going up there towards Gnarl Ridge for some of the people that know this area. We're going to be heading up there. So um, I'm going to head back to camp. So it was a two and a half mile hike in, but we, we ended up leaving really late. And I wasn't able to get any video, but we ended up leaving really late and doing... Uh, once we got here, it was like 7.45. I said that last night, but... I thought that the hike was going to take about 45 minutes in, because it's about two and a half miles. But we hit these switchbacks, and for some reason, they just both kicked our butts. And my dad has a, um, a pack that is not necessarily, I, I would say it's on its last legs. Um, the buckle's coming loose, and um, the belt line isn't as good. But yeah, we're just coming into camp now. So, say hi to my dad. Hey, how's it going? Awesome space. So, we have our uh, kitchen over there. And this is my dad's tent. And then Snug Pack Scorpion 2 is over there. And so we're just cooking up some, some breakfast. And I'll come back to you guys later in the day. I'm um, cooking some bannock right now. And it's a mixture of... Uh, a few different like flowers and um, and water and then it's kind of it's kind of drying out but I think it'll be okay we just finished breakfast and we cleaned everything up and put out the fire and now we are going to be going on a day hike up to Narl Ridge I said that earlier but we just did um, hygiene and now we're gonna be uh, heading up to Narl Ridge it's a uh, how long do you know how long the hike is dad So we're going to look that up, but I'll come back to you guys on the hike. So yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a little ways up and hopefully we're going to get some good pictures of Mount Hood and I'll, I'll do that. Hey guys, so we're on Gnarl Ridge trail. trail. Yeah, we're not on the ridge yet actually. We're hiking for about 10-ish minutes and we're doing pretty good. It's a little bit of an uphill and Super yeah, nice out. it's about... Uh, 10, it's about 11 o'clock, so, it's, sun's awesome, it's not, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's really just right, so. Super great old growth forest. Yeah, you have all these, all these trees that are knocked down. Trees are getting shorter, we're getting higher. But, it's a really nice well-kept trail, which is nice. Hey guys, so, we're about... Halfway up, um, we are at our third junction. We're we're on the Ridge Trail, and we just came from right there. And then this is the Timberline Trail over here, and we're gonna be heading. Where does the Timberline Trail go? Up there. <laughs> uh, to Timberline. It goes around the whole of Mount Hood. Oh yeah. Forty-four miles. Hopefully we can do that one day. So we're just taking a little breather, but I want to show you guys on the map. So we are, we are right here. And then this is the Timberline Trail that follows all the way up. And then this is Elk Meadows in right here. So that's Elk Meadows, but we're camping right where this little sign is. Actually on the inside. So we're camping right about there. We hiked all the way up here. That was about, uh, I'd say a mile, and then we're going to do a, another mile, mile and a half, mile, mile and a half up, so we're going to be ending up right there.
we're here. It was a it was a fun little trek, and we're kind of perched on this ledge over here. Pretty crazy. And here, I'll give you guys some some video of all this. It's crazy awesomeness. But and then we have this view. This is the peak of the Gnarl Ridge right here. As you can see, there's a bunch of people up there right now, so we're not going to head up there until a little bit after. So we just finished eating lunch, and now we're, we headed up to the summit, and we're just about there. But I wanted to show this, you this view behind me. It's really quite insane. This is all mostly eastern Oregon out this way. And then here, let me step to my right. This is, you can see Mount Rainier off on this side. Here's the big view. Ugh. Ugh. Big step. Ugh. Here, I'll give you this rock. So now, we are here. Here, I'll get a better view of that. That's the view. And we ate lunch right down there. That's where we ate lunch. So the view is absolutely gorgeous. And over off in this area, Skeebel. And it's Mount Adams, right there. Hey guys, we're back um, on the trail. We just came back from the summit and we ended up going a little bit higher, but it was basically just the same. And it was super awesome, I'm super happy we did it. So now we're heading back to camp. It's about two and a half miles there. And it's two so. 2.20. Yeah, 2.20. No, so, 2.20 in the afternoon. Yeah. So we've been been out for four hours. Yeah, about that. So it's been nice. Starting to get a little bit later, and we're going to go back to camp. Uh, relax. Relax. Move, move his tent, because he was rolling over all night. And maybe make some dinner soon depending on how hungry we are. But yeah, so this is a look at the trail. We actually came through here and I, I shot some video of the um, of Eastern Oregon area. This is the, um, the Sawyer water filter. And I, um, I talked about it earlier today, uh, earlier today, yeah. And I wasn't too fond of the bag, but actually my dad found out a way that kind of helps. Um, Cause I was having trouble getting it to fill up on its own. Cause it's, it's a pretty thick plastic. So basically you, you cup, it around your hand and then you basically blow into it and then you have both sides and you make sure you have some sort of water flow or if you can submerge it completely the water will go in by itself but basically Okay, then once you have it full, you take your you take your filter and there's a flow, there's a flow arrow on it. And then you make sure to screw it on the way that the water is gonna be flowing. You don't want to put it too tight, just tight enough that it'll stay on. Now we're gonna go over here, a little bit of balance beam, and then we're gonna go over here. And now we have our Nalgene and it's just you kind of squeeze the bag. And you can start rolling it. But it holds 16 ounces, that's what it says, but I think it's going to be a little bit more than that. Hey guys, so we got back to camp a few minutes ago. We just did some, um, some hygiene. We took my camel back. And um, we, took a, we took the camel back over there and we did um, kind of a shower. Uh, camp shower type thing 
And now we don't really have anything to do. So what do you do when you don't have anything to do at camp? You throw knives at trees. So this is my um, Ontario Air Force issue survival knife. Um, and so we chose this tree over here. And yeah, so let's see how this works. There is the lucky culprit. Hang on, let me come back over here. Ready? I don't know if you are, but I am. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Let's try and go three for three. Oh. I jinxed it. Okay, that's two for three. Let's two make it three for, for three. One for three. Now let's make it three for three. Come on, you can do it. Oh. Barely. So we just finished dinner and we had mac and cheese and spam with some red peppers. And now my dad went to go filter water. And we're just gonna be hanging out for a little bit, relaxing. Um, kind of getting our food all together for tomorrow for leaving but yeah we're gonna be cooking up some s'mores I think uh, it's just kind of having a good time so yeah it's been it was, it's been really fun I've had a really good time I just I think it's funny my dad said something when we were up at um, eating lunch at the um, at the ridge he was like to some other people, he was talking to some other people, and he was like, and there's people eating at McDonald's right now, and I just thought that was funny, because there are people that choose to be indoors all the time, and my my view on that is just, um, I mean, choosing to be indoors rather than outdoors all the time, that would just kill me. I couldn't do it. But, yeah, it's been really cool here at Mount Hood and the meadows, Elk Meadows, has been really cool. I'm so happy this place exists. And we're going to be coming back. Uh, me and my dad are already talking about a snow trip. When it starts snowing out here, we can come up here and, and hang out. Uh, we just finished up our s'mores, and I'm going to be heading to bed here soon. So it's been a really long day, and... Uh, it's been fun having you guys along with us. We went up to um, the ridge. We did a bunch of stuff. We threw knives at trees, made fire. We made mac and cheese. I made bannock on a stick. Yes. I made bannock on a stick. It was good. So, it's been a really awesome day. It's probably been one of the most relaxing days in a while. So, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for leaving the elk meadow which will not be fun but we just have an excuse to come back no we're gonna see the whole trail in the light yeah that'll be fun because we're actually gonna hike out during daytime now so yeah okay i'll see you guys later this is our last day here so we're gonna be heading out today but i'm gonna take you guys into the meadow to see the sunset i mean to see the sunrise Fun's that. i'm not going to bed again <laughs> so we did, we're doing oatmeal for breakfast today. And then, I don't know when we're gonna be heading out. We may stay for lunch and then head out right after. Just stay to cook and then eat and then head out. Cause it's about an hour and a half drive to Portland. So, oh my gosh. So this is the meadow. One of the coolest things about the meadow is how you have this um this running water over here. And I I went the wrong way out, but cuz this is all mud over here, but I'll zoom in on it for you guys. You have this these little streams that kind of run through here. It kind of when I went out here at dark, I stepped in the stepped in the stream. It was kind of it's kind of funny. 
but I am going to be doing um, gear testing for the Walden Project for JMT and for just other things that for outdoor survival, bushcraft, things like that. And because that's it's something that I want to carry through JMT. I want to keep doing this, keep blogging, keep doing my YouTube channel and all that. And I just really, um, I really think it's going to be fun. Um, right now I'm testing the Snug Pack Scorpion 2 for JMT. And then that's a killer piece of gear. Um, I'm also testing uh, the Paladin 30 pack, 30 liter. Um, it's a Gen 2 by, um, by Mountain Hardware. And that's a really good pack. I take that to school every day. Um, it's more of a commuter pack than like I'd say an outdoor pack, but it can be used for both. If you're just going on like a day hike or something like that, it does have a waist belt. It's not too hefty, I, but I mean, I found that it works, you know. Um, uh, I am right now looking at my pack, like my backpack for JMT. So I said in a blog post about um, how I was looking into Mountain Hardware packs and um, a lot of Columbia gear because I really like their stuff and I do have a few benefits there. Um, but also I was looking, I went to REI just to look around, you know, um, and I found Kelty packs and I found them to be so comfortable just for the way that my body size is because they're a big pack if you choose the right one, but also they can fit your body size if you're smaller. Um, and that's something that I like because I was talking about how I liked like 70 or 80 because of that consolidation, the ability to put everything on the inside of your pack. Um, I am also looking at my sleeping bag right now. I'm looking at the Ratio 15 by Mountain Hardware and the Phantom 15 by Mountain Hardware as well. Um, I get good benefits on their stuff and their sleeping bags are bomber. I was sleeping in a, in a first gen, um, penal, I think that's how you say, uh, 15 degree bag last night and I was toasty. There was points when I was unzipping the bag halfway. Um, so, yeah, also I'm, t I'm looking for um, my sleeping pad. Um, right now I'm looking at the... the um, X-Ped. Um, I'm looking at some of Thermarest pads. Um, some of the... I, I really do want a light pad that can fit inside my pack that I don't have to put on the outside. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, you can put that in the comment. I'm really, um, up for suggestions on gear, things like that. Um, go ahead and put that in the comments below. And, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna be sad to leave. This has been one of the most, most awesome places. And we got so lucky to find this campsite in the night. Um, because it was just, it was like... A diamond in the rough because it was completely dark all we had was headlamps and then when we went to bed we didn't even know what we were waking up to and the meadow was right here and it was just awesome hey guys so oh we are back on the trail on our way out and we got a little bit lost at first took oh, a wrong took a we took a wrong turn and then we just okay. went back easy but Kindergarten mistake. It was kind of fun. It was a little bit of a warm up. Now we're on our way out. And. Mount Hood's off to our right. Yep. Meadow looks great. How you feeling, Dad? Are you sad? I'm sad I don't have a better pack. Yeah. This pack is 23 years old and it's ready to be retired. So. The with belt's broken, but it's got everything in it. With all the blogging and videos that I'm making about gear review and gear testing, my dad is also doing that at the same time for, for his gear. So he's looking into gear and he's doing all that because right now I don't have any of that gear and my dad, he's replacing most of his gear. But you have a tent. I have a tent. I have a... Kick butt tent. Yeah. But... It also costs money for gear, and <laughs> gear is expensive, so. And you're, and you're not working yet. Yeah, but I will be. So, yeah, we're on our way out. Should be hitting the transition here in another tenth of a mile. And then. Heading south. 
I'll get some get some more video probably on the way switchbacks on the way out switchbacks Crossing we have that river. we have a river crossing and all of this video just remember that we did this at night <laughs> so it was pretty crazy it's fun so yeah it's a good easy trail that's why you can come here during the day it's super good hey guys so we came to the um we're at the first river well it's actually a creek i don't remember what the name of the creek is but this was so hard to find at night because we couldn't find where the actual bridge was but we met this guy on the trail and he um his name is marcus and he basically told us after we had passed that they can't set up a permanent bridge here because this is wilderness area and it just gets washed out each year. So they set up like a temporary bridge each year. True. And so we found these um, these trail markers and they're just kind of little stones and they're they're all over. Watch out, Dad. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna hit the trail. And they're kind of all over. So this is the river over here. It's pretty cool, we have a nice view of Mount Hood. But we're gonna cross this, and then I'll come back to you guys at the car. Hey guys, so we are here. Oh, how you feeling, Dad? Great. Yeah. Let's go, Let's go back. And turn around. No, <laughs> oh, there's the car. Car still here? Nobody stole it. Nobody stole it. A lot more cars in the parking lot. Yeah. There was oh my only gosh. Three when we got here. Well, including us. Here we got the gray ghost. No, a silver bullet. What does mom call it? Man, look at how many cars are here now. So here's our car. And then we have... The parking lot was empty when we were here. Yeah, we had two cars next to us. How you feeling? I feel excellent. I'll be glad when I have a better pack. Oh. So we're back. Uh, shout out to dad. Oh, no. Everything you did. It was awesome. Um, shout out to my mom for helping us with food and organizational stuff. Uh, shout out to Marcus on the trail for helping us out with directions. Uh, Not that we needed him. Shout out to Mr. Johnson for being just an awesome dude. And yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching our three day trip. Hang on, I might have left the car key on the log at our campsite. Oh, okay, just, well. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. I just have to find it. That's not nice. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. So, Dad, how was this camping trip? Um, it was an 11 out of 10. Really? Yeah. I would say uh, for ease of getting the campsite, even in the dark, it wasn't too difficult. A couple of problems with uh, one creek crossing, trying to figure out where to find the trail to get across because it washes out every year. But other than that, uh, it was pretty straightforward. The trail was very clearly marked to find. Um, yesterday, to get up to Gnarl Ridge um, and Lamberson Butte uh, was super easy. A couple of trail transitions, but they're clearly marked. Uh, trail was really uh, wide. It was, uh, you weren't having any trouble at all. Um, elevation gain, not a problem. Um, between five and 6,000 feet was what we hit yesterday, so we did trailhead to here which is five and then up is what we said it was about six yeah six in and out six in and out and then uh so that was a thousand feet up thousand feet back so that was good um the campsites that people have found are pretty spread out and spread apart and the meadow is huge and beautiful the sun's on the meadow right now and it's um what time is it it's 8 15 in the morning and the sun is out on the meadow so if you wanted to get out of the shade you could go and sit out there and it's about five degrees warmer. Um, great cover. Um, you're not always in the sun. It's just a beautiful place to come. You can't, uh, you can't miss this one. You gotta come here. So um, it was uh, all in all, 10 stars.
This one's an 11. Very good. Easy water source. Good food. Good company.